<laughs> Thanks, yeah. Come on, I was kidding. No, totally, no, that's not true. I was kidding, and then you actually took pity on me as if, as if someone could not like me. <laughs> Please. That was just a little self-deprecating humor. People come up to me on the street all the time, and uh, they're asking me what it's like to have my own show. That's what they say to me. Then you suck. Uh, <laughs> no, they always ask me what it's like to have my own show. They, they say they wonder what it's like to work here, and a lot of times I say to them, well, what, you know, what do you think my life is like? Uh, and more often than not, their idea of what it's like is completely wrong. They think I'm hanging out with celebrities all the time, and I have this really cool life, and they just have all these, all these misconceptions about what it's like to work on a TV show. So I thought, let's clear up some of these misconceptions right now in a little piece we're going to call Debunking the Myths of Late Night. All right, now... For starters, most viewers think that my hair is bright red. But it just looks that way under these really intense lights. My skin looks a little paler under the lights, too. So, Alan, can we show people how I look under natural lighting? Let's see? We should start doing the show that way, I think, actually. <laughs> All right, here's another misconception. Many people think we do this show live, but it's actually taped. Not even the same night, but two years in advance. <laughs> we tape it two years in advance. As I'm saying this, it's actually February 11th, 2001. Hey, Conan? Yeah? If you tape your show two years in advance, then how do you come up with all those fresh topical jokes? You mean the ones about the Rolling Stones being old and Pavarotti being fat? I see what you mean. Yeah. All right, here's another misconception. We'll add laughter later. Uh, a, a lot of people... Oh, there it is. A lot of people... A lot of people assume this is just a fake backdrop behind me. And folks, that is not true. It is a real balcony high above the streets of New York City. True. And in fact, I'm going to prove it right now. I've got, a, oh, I've got an anvil right here. Oh, it's, uh, okay, and here we go. Bombs away. Come on, Mitch. You call yourself an ad man? These ideas suck the big snossage. They're not going to help my company. Now, come on, ass. I want an idea that hits me over the head. Come on, right now. Hit me over the head. Wow. You're a mean group. All right. Now, uh, most people have this weird conception that our show is taped in New York City. That is not technically true. To avoid paying taxes, late night declared its independence from the United States back in 1998. So technically, the show was taped in a tiny autonomous nation called Late Nightia, which is only 5,000 square feet. Again, I must stress that we did it only for tax purposes. It's just a nation in name only. That's really pathetic, Conan. I mean, you've got this big network show, but you can't pay taxes like the rest of us. Detain her! Be my presidente! Now, many people assume, seriously, many people assume that I make a lot of money for doing this show. Well, the truth is, I'm paid entirely in rare foreign stamps. <laughs> yeah, for example, that's just what I insisted on. You make a lot more money this way. For example, last year, instead of a salary, I got, NBC gave me this amazingly rare 17th century 
Prussian stamp. Look, it's, it's the king of Prussia right there. It's such a cool, I can't believe they gave this to me. <laughs> It's amazing that I... Honan! It's, it's all my... Huh? Honan! You jackass! <laughs> that's clearly just a U.S. stamp that's been drawn on. You should get paid the way I do, with rare paintings. Check it out. Leonardo da Vinci's... Last Supper. Boy, Max, you're smart. <laughs> and finally, probably the biggest misconception people have about this show is that Max and I are friends off screen. Okay, people think they see us talk on the show and everything. We both seem like kind of good friends. Ladies and gentlemen, it's simply not true. We are not friends. Take a look at this piece of tape that was shot just last night. Hey, Max. Great show tonight. Good job. Oh, thanks, Conan. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. First okay. thing. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Have a good night. Thanks. You too, Conan. See All you. All right. Good guy. I was almost killed. <laughs> you shot me 40 times. But I'm here tonight. All right, folks, we have an amazing show uh, this evening. When we come back, Brendan Fraser is here, so stick around. Hello? Hey, it's the boss, everybody. You want to say something about Max, Bruce? Yeah, we're Okay. Uh Max, that was a caller from Phoenix. He asks, when did William McKinley serve as president of the United States? Uh, from 1984 to 1953. Good work, Max, you did it! Well, we're out of time, which means no one could stop Max Weinberg. Come out here, Max. Congratulations, Max, you won. <laughs> of course I did. We'll be right back when we come back. Tiffany Thiessen's here, stick around. Tonight at 11, Class War USA, how America's rich are preparing by land and by sea. They've built trenches and foxholes from which they can launch their deadly ammo. The Daily Show with Jon Stewart, tonight at 11, only on Comedy Central.